Hello guys, my name is Rahul and this is our video tutorial series on how to install Access Manager along with FreeRadius and MySQL on an Ubuntu server. In our two previous videos, we have already installed Access Manager and FreeRadius on our test machine that is connected to my computer through network. I'll just log into that. Now, next thing we need to do after the after installing both of these is to make them communicate each other. So, how do we do that? I would like to tell that FreeRadius have a module named EXEC that allows it to communicate with external programs. Whenever it receives any authorization packet, it can ask others external programs f for their views in a layman's language what they have to say if they want to authorize it or not whenever it receives an accounting packet it can also update them about that so that they can do their work on that they can update their records their databases etc so access manager utilizes same exec module for that now how do we enable that to enable that we need to make a little bit configuration into free radius we need to create two sub modules of that exec module one for authorization that will check for authorization with access manager whenever it receives any authorization packet the second module will do the accounting part whenever it free radius receives any accounting packet from any of the clients it will also update access manager about that so that we can so that access manager can calculate usage data etc for that user so let's get started for that we need to be root first I guess it's wrong. Yes. So now I'm login as a root user. Go to etc free radius modules. Now when we see here there are a number of modules that free radius uses. Actually free radius is a modular program. Everything every program is a module here. So we need to edit exec module vam exec in this file you will see exec as a module now how we create a sub module in free radius is go to insert mode we name it like exec am authorize now within these curly braces whatever we put is will be treated as a sub module of exec named am authorize so actually access manager already have this module in their website so we'll just need to copy that from there go to access manager user guide integrate access manager for 3 radius now here you see these are the two modules that we need to create one is am authorize and one is am accounting we just need to simply copy them into our file i'll just delete these lines one thing to make note of here is this this path to the program the first three words this is user bin PHP which is passed to our PHP library in our system which which by default is this if you have installed using apt-get you don't need to change that and this is the path to our access manager index.php you might remember from our last video when we installed access manager we created a we created this same directory access manager under the www root directory so this is the correct path if you have install access manager in some other directory you need to update it accordingly okay so this is the authorized module we also need to copy this accounting thing and paste it here simply save and exit now once we have created these we need to enable these modules we need to tell our virtual server that we have to use these modules as well so let's go to the our default our 
let's go to the configuration of our, our default virtual server that we are using in this installation now in this file we need to enable these modules the, as the name states we need to enable authorize module within this authorize section enabling is not much of a task we just simply need to name them here am authorize all you need to make sure of is this this am authorize module is enabled before the sql module uh, you can simply do what i did make it very first of all as the authorized block starts just paste, paste it here any am authorize and within the accounting section With an accounting section AM accounting that we named it there in the sub module and that's that's it. Now we'll just test if there is not any issue with the free radius. Yes, free radius is working fine, which means we have done it correctly now your system is ready to authorize clients against access manager in our next video we'll see how to add a new router how to create service plans and all of that all of this will be on gui part so we'll see it in a in our next video till then bye bye